discussion of the femoral sheath femoral sheath it is a funnel shape sleeve uh, initially covering to the femoral vessels 3 to 4 cm just below to the it begin at the below to the inguinal ligaments so this is the femoral sheath uh, medially it is sloping and laterally it is straight uh, over the femoral vessels anterior layer which is formed by the continuation of the fascia transversalis and posteriorly it is formed by the fascia iliaca posteriorly it is formed by the fascia iliaca and it is divided into the three compartment by the two septa uh, lateral and medial septa it divides the lateral compartment it contains the femoral artery intermediate compartment it contains the femoral vein and most medial compartment it is called the femoral canal and inside the femoral canal there is a this is the femoral canal and always there is a presence of the uh, clocket lymphoid lymph node inside the medial compartment so femoral sheath it is the initially 2 to 3 uh, to 4 cm funnel shape covering to the femoral vessels and which main functions to prevents the uh, Uh, frictions between the femoral vessels and inguinal ligaments what is inguinal ligament so the inguinal ligament it is start from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle there is a most lower fiber of the external oblique muscles which is uprolled and it makes the uh, most lower fiber from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic uh, tubercle the most lower fiber of the external oblique it is called the inguinal ligaments so which prevents the friction between the inguinal ligament and femoral vessels so the most lateral compartment of the femoral sheath lateral compartment of the femoral sheath it contains the uh, femoral branch of genito femoral nerve and femoral artery intermediate compartment it contains the femoral vein and this is a medial compartment the pore supplies is the medial compartment but here we remove the clocket lymph nodes and the most medial compartment of the femoral sheath it is called the femoral canal and the upper end of the femoral canal here at that level it is called the femoral upper end of the femoral canal it is called the femoral mouth and femoral mouth or femoral ring it is called the bounded anteriorly by the inguinal ligament medially that level on the just medially it is bounded by the lacunar ligament laterally it is bounded by the femoral vein and posteriorly it bounded by the uh, pecten of pubis which is covered by the pectineus muscles this is the pectineus muscles so mostly the femoral hernia which is lies uh, it occur inside the female as compared to the male because of the vessels diameter which is smaller inside the female and the pelvis which is larger at that that that's why the femoral canal which is larger and there is a more chances of femoral hernia through the uh, femoral canal so femoral hernia which is most commonly inside the female as compared to the male how to differentiate the femoral hernia from the inguinal hernia always you have to remember the femoral hernia which is lies uh, below and lateral to the femoral uh, pubic tubercles 3 to 4 cm below and lateral to the pubic tubercle it uh, come out from the saphenous opening while the inguinal hernia either direct or indirect inguinal hernia which is about to the pubic tubercles another thing you have to remember the femoral sheath anteriorly it is formed by the fascia transversalis and posteriorly it is formed by the fascia iliaca both the layers which is merged with the uh, femoral vas uh, adventitia uh, outer layer of the femoral vessel it is the uh, Uh, tunica adventitia which is merged and the femoral sheath which is end at the 3 to 4 cm so whenever there is a birth of the baby at the age of uh, up to the 6 months there is a femoral sheath which is rudimentary and it is not developed but after the 6 uh, months the baby habituate to the flexion and extension of the hip joint it lead to there is a development of the femoral sheath and the main function of the femoral sheath Uh, to prevents the frictions between the inguinal ligaments and femoral vessels so it is a, a funnel shaped covering of the femoral vessels and the to the femoral vessels the most lateral compartment it contains the femoral artery 
एंड फ्यूमोरल ब्रांच ऑफ जेनाइटो फ्यूमोरल ब्रांच ऑफ जेनाइटो फ्यूमोरल नाउ इंटरमीडिएट कंपार्टमेंट एंड कंटेन द फ्यूमोरल वेन एंड मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट इट इज कॉल्ड द फ्यूमोरल कैनाल इट कंटेन्स द क्लोकेट लिम्स नॉट्स यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द फ्यूमोरल नव ऑलवेज लाइज आउटसाइड द फ्यूमोरल सीथ एंड इट इज नॉट इन साइड द सीथ इट इज लाइज लेटरल टू द फ्यूमोरल सीथ एंड सो द फ्यूमोरल नव ऑलवेज कीप Uh, lies lateral to the femoral seat so this is about to the femoral seat